The video you're about to see will look a little different right in this area, and I wanted to point that out. Um, we have made changes uh, to make it easier, uh, flat uh, registration bracket, where you just drill a hole right through your screen. You place a two-inch carriage bolt, which is provided in the kit, a large flat washer, and then you put uh, your registration plate on, another flat washer, and uh, a new uh, plastic wing nut. And this makes it easier to take the bra registration brackets on and off, and it still provides excellent registration. Uh, so when you're watching the video, this area will look different, but we streamlined it so it works more efficient. Okay, the next step is to attach your exposure unit, uh, uh, hang it on the wall, and have it to be 12 inches from the edge of your light down to your glass on the screen. The glass is to hold the film positive tightly against the screen. Use heavy glass, like one quarter inch, and this is 15 inches by 18 inches, and it's sanded on the edges so you don't cut yourself. The little bracket to hold the light is in your hardware. Okay, and the other thing you want to do is make sure there's black, like I have black poster board under the screen so the light doesn't reflect up uh, and ruin your positive when you're burning it. Okay, the next step is to put the emulsion on a screen. I have an old screen here that I've used over and over. We've cleaned it off. And uh, basically, use a screen coater. And you put a layer of emulsion. <laughs> on both sides of the screen, like this. I want to make sure I cover it. And then scrape off all the excess emulsion, like that. As you can see, I placed the coated screen in a closet with a small fan. That'll take about 45 minutes to an hour to dry. And, of course, keep the door closed so it's dark. A film positive is your artwork printed out on either a vellum, like this. It's a foggy paper, but light, as you can see, can pass through it. Or a clear transparency. This is overhead projection paper. Now, when you want to print two colors, you have to have your artwork separated, like this. this is a, uh, actually, it goes like this, Romeo and Juliet. And you have a sword and a rose that was one color, and then this part that was a color. And you put them together, and they fit together. Okay, this is clear transparency, and you can print this with a, either on a Xerox copier or um, on a laser printer. Okay, the vellum, the print we're going to show how to do, uh, I separated it into three colors. So the artwork looks like this. This is one that we're going to print in yellow. This will be printing in blue, and this will be printing in black. And uh, basically, when you put them all together, they'll come up with this design when it's done. But I really want you to make sure that the vellum you use, light can uh, go through it. In order to make sure your artwork is in the right position when you do a, a multicolor print, you want to have registration points on your artwork. 
So they all line up. But basically, this is a screen with a coated emulsion. You're going to place your positive on reverse, so it reads backwards. And you want to center it up, but you want to measure the same distance down to that registration mark. In this case, it's six inches. Okay, and then you're going to burn that image in that screen, and the next screen you do, you'll do the same thing. You'll measure down six inches to the registration mark, and the same with the next color. That way, all your screens will light up. Now, the, next, the screen I'm going to burn right now is a white color print, and uh, that's basically our whole logo, and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, to burn an image in the screen, make sure there's black poster board or the table is black underneath. Place your coated screen under the light. Put your film positive down in reverse. Make sure it's centered and it's right where you need it. This is the white color so we don't have to measure down from the top. And then you place your glass over the uh, positive and then turn your light on for five minutes. Okay, once five minutes is done, you remove the glass. Remove your positive. Take the screen. And you take a water mister and mist it both sides with water and wait one minute. Alright, uh, once you uh, spray it with water, wait a minute. Now you just uh, run water over it in a sink. And uh, and the image washes out, as you can see. You don't need a lot of pressure. You just run it until uh, the whole image comes out. You can apply a little bit of a little bit of pressure there. Water running over this. Anywhere there's detail, you want to make sure the water clears it all out. you do it whether it's just a regular incandescent light bulb. Uh, the sunlight or fluorescent lighting can hurt the whole process. Okay, uh, screen block uh, you use with a little paintbrush. And basically, uh, you just touch up places that wash through that you don't want them to wash through. Basically, it just blocks out parts of the image uh, that washed out that you didn't want to wash. Once the screen is thoroughly dry from washing it out and putting the screen block on, you go ahead and you tape the screen completely. You can see we taped off thoroughly the inside of the screen. This is the way you want to do it, is you know as close to the image as possible. And then also I put tape over the registration marks that were on the artwork. Those washed out also, and you want to cover those or, or they'll print. Okay, with the marker, draw a center line on your t-shirt board. This is called a platy. And also a line about six inches down along here, and that'll help you line up pockets when you're ready to do that. Uh, take your artwork, your vellum, and center it in here and tape it down on the edges. Now I'm going to show you how to do a multicolor t-shirt print. The print we're going to do will be three colors. The first screen here will be yellow, second one will be blue, and this one will be black.
You put your main artwork down that all three colors can line up to. This is our first color, the yellow. You always print from light to dark. Okay, as you can see, I already added registration, but can you see what I'm doing here is lining this color up with the artwork and actually the registration marks that were in the screen. And remember to tape those over once you're done registering it. But see, that's all in place where you want it. You tighten your registration brackets. And now, every time you put that on there, it's in the right place. The next thing you do, we're going to put our ink on there. Like that. Okay, and then place a squeegee. Take this color off and then we'll register the next two. Okay, uh, we're ready to print now, so you remove the artwork. Set it aside. Okay, this is spray adhesive. And you use that to hold the t-shirt in place while you're printing so it doesn't lift or move from the position. But right now, to test the print, you put a test pellet down. And this is so you make sure everything prints right and uh, before you uh, try a t-shirt. Okay, we're ready to print. Here's the first color. Okay, you want to put a thin coat over the whole print and press once. You don't want to do it many times. You just want to try to do it all in one coat. Okay, this color we're going to flash dry because the blue touches the edge. And so anytime you have ink touching ink, you have to flash dry the color before. Other than that, um, you can just print as long as they're not touching. Flash dry is just enough. You're not curing it. You just want to hold it in place so you can print over it. Okay, our next color is blue. Okay, put a thin coat over it. Okay, you want to do it one stroke. Okay, and then the next color is black. Put a thin coat. And do it one stroke. Okay, it seems to come out all right. And you take this off. Put it under the flash dryer. It takes one minute, no more, to completely cure the ink. You want to spray your adhesive on next and uh, put your t-shirt on. Now the adhesive will last about, about five t-shirts or so. So you don't have to uh, spray it each time. Now to center it out, I look at the the sleeve hems and I just uh, kind of balance it like that and then usually there is a seam and a new t-shirt and that one's like right here you make sure that's straight you don't stretch the shirt but you definitely pat it down like this okay and you put your coat of ink on our yellow. Flash dry it. Flash dry again is like five, ten seconds. Okay. And you want it just enough. You just dry the top of the ink. You're not curing it completely. Color. 
Now you want to put a, a this is called a flood coat. You press hard, coming back. And you want, want to do that once. You don't want to do it many times. Just one. Okay, and then we're going to do our black. This is our pillow that we dry, and now you pull the t-shirt off, put it on the drying board, and this is for one minute, and it cures completely. It will not wash out. Okay, after one minute, uh, the shirt is completely cured, and um, you can wash it a hundred times. It will not come out. Cleanup is relatively easy. Uh, first, lay some newspapers down. Take your screen and lay it on there, and then push all the ink up onto the tape part. Okay, take a party knife, clean off your squeegee. Best possible. Okay. okay. Take all the ink, put it back. Leftover ink is, is good. It'll last, you know, for a long time, so you, you can save all the excess. Once you do that, just peel the, the tape off. And now you're only left with this part to clean. That down over here. Okay, um, in your chemicals you'll have um, degreaser, reclaimer, and soy solvent. Um, it's best to put them in spray bottles once you get them. So you don't, you, you don't need to use that much. And uh, basically, you need some paper towels. And uh, I'm just going to wipe off any excess things right with the paper towel. Okay, soy solvent is used next. It break, basically breaks down the ink, and you want to spray a little bit on and uh, get all that extra ink off. So soy solvent is used for a solvent. It's to remove the ink. I'm going to do this side now. Now soy solvent is used instead of uh, a paint thinner. Paint thinner has a real bad odor and it'll dry your skin. Soy solvent is biodegradable. It smells like popcorn oil and uh, it's just really nice to work with. Your hands are left uh, uh, smooth, not dried out at all. Okay, so we got all the ink off. That was easy. Okay, now because it's oily, you want to put degreaser on. Now the greaser is simply uh, a, a mild soap, and it breaks down all the oils. So I, you want to do that on both sides. Okay, you don't want to put that back in the ink. And I'm going to basically do that. Okay, now your screen is clean and it can be reused. Uh, that it was, you can store it probably for a year and it'll keep. When you reclaim the screen, you want to use Reclaimer now and just spray it on here on both sides and let it set for a few minutes. And you need a pressure washer. I bought this at Walmart for about a hundred dollars 
and uh, as you will see, it works terrific. All right, we let the reclaimer set for a while. This is our conveyor dryer. When you really get up into production and you want to dry shirts a lot faster, a conveyor dryer is real simple. You put the t-shirt here, it goes through the heating tunnel, it comes out here and it's complete. It just falls in the box and it's ready to go. Ours has all the features other people have. We have a control panel, uh, a heat control, for each heat panel, and I'm going to open this up and show you what kind of heat we have underneath. It's very important. But you can uh, just turn one heat panel on and just use one if you want, or actually have both heat panels running. The uh, conveyor belt is Teflon coated fiberglass. It withstands 700 degrees. You get a lot of wear and tear out of that. As you can see, the body's all powder coated so you it'll withstand a lot of uh, uh, use on this side we have two other controls it's for the motor and it's actually for the speed of the motor so how fast uh, the t-shirts are going through is controlled by this control right here this is 220 volts It's the best to be able to hook up to 220 volts with a conveyor dryer. Uh, that way you're going to get the right amount of heat and not have any problem curing your shirts. Uh, the motor is a standard motor you get from Granger. You know, it's something that can be replaced easily. It's very quiet. You won't hear it when it's turned on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open the top here to show you what kind of heat we have in it. These are 24 inch wide heat panels and they're 12 inches so you actually have a 24 by 24 inch area that's being heated. It, you know, so no matter how big your design is, it's going to pass under the heat. The other feature is you can raise and lower the heat panels, you know, if you want to get closer to your shirt that allows you to do it. You just adjust these screws here. It's easy, when it comes to you, this body part lifts right off and it's, so it's all assembled. All you do is assemble the frame and put the body part on and uh, it's ready to go and put the conveyor belt. You also need a uh, exhaust pipe for the fumes that come out. When you're drying lots of shirt, there will be fumes and you want to exhaust this out the window or even out the roof. I call this the professional mini setup. Um, we have a six color wet station, a flash dryer, a mini conveyor dryer, which is our, a new item for us. It runs on 110 volts. Um, basically, it speeds up when you're drying your t-shirts. It, it helps uh, make production faster. And then you get all your supplies, basic supplies, and a super size kit for one low price. Introducing the new 2004 six color four station and six color one station printers from Home Cash Business. These new printers are made out of solid, all steel construction, fabricated by the same people who do parts for NASA. All parts are made to precision specifications to ensure you get high quality prints for the life of your printer. These printers were designed to last literally forever. You'll enjoy years upon years of high quality silk screen printing with your new HCB printer. The six color one station is designed for one person working, but one experienced person can usually print a hundred three color shirts in an hour. The six color four station printer is made for heavy workloads and can accommodate multiple people working on the press at the same time. 
Most efficiently, two people on your new six color four station press would double the output of your print shop. The six color one station and six color four station printing presses are available in package deals and include supplies and drying equipment. Please call today for more information on the all new six color printers from HCB.